Hello everyone, this is Stunter Collector with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends series Infinity Saga Odin figure. So let's go over the packaging here first. So first we get the Marvel Marvel Studios Thor logo here, Marvel Legends logo here, Infinity Saga logo here, Odin, Avengers A. Here's the other side art here with the Infinity Wars uh, Infinity Saga logo here, Avengers A. Here's the poster art of the first Thor movie and a description if you want to read that. Marvel Legends logo here, Odin. Here's the other side art here with the same exact Infinity Saga logo and Avengers A here. And then here's the top of that Thor logo there, Odin. And then here's the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here is Odin out of the package here. So first, let's go over the accessories. So first, you get a fisted hand for him. You get like a relaxed hand here for him. You get an extra head sculpt here with that nice long hair foofed up. You get the eye patch in there. Brown, bronze, eye patch, blue eyes with that scar across the eye there. And you get the beard here with some little bit of a gray shadow in there to give it more depth in the hair. And this soft plastic there. And then here's the bottom with the chin tan. I mean, the, some of the beard tanned underneath, but you won't really tell once you have it on the actual figure. And then here you have his staff that Loki uses during, I think, Thor... Um, where he's pretending, it, trying to become king of Asgard. So yeah, the sculpt looks good. It's just all kind of just painted gold, but the sculpting on this is pretty good. And here's the blade. So yeah, looks pretty good. I think in the movie though, I think some parts of the blade were silver, or yeah, silver. So. Yeah, I wish they had a little bit more detailing in there. But, yeah, that's that. And that's all the accessories here. So here is Odin. So here is his other head sculpt here with the helmet on, which you think this is a separate headpiece, but this does come off, so you can do that. But for the helmet here, it's kind of designed like Thor's, except this one has the horns on it, so it's like a mix between Loki and Thor, I think. It looks like it because Thor's wings and then Loki's horns, which is pretty cool. I like that a lot. And it's just painted gold, kind of soft, but be careful with it. And then here is the other Odin head with that, uh, with that off. And the difference is mainly this one's more foofed up. This one has the hair back so that way you can fit that uh, helmet on them. So yeah, you get that same eye patch there. You get the blue eyes. Scar across the face, uh, white beard, white hair with some gray in there to give it more depth. Here is his red cape here, which is really nice. And then it's red here too, not no texturing or anything inside of it. And then here you get the bronze look for the little circle piece here, which holds down the cape. And you get some gunmetal gray in there, which is really cool. You get some gold design there it's really cool i like the paint job on this and you get the shoulder pad here the other one here this cape kind of like loops down a little bit more than this one and you get the brown shirt underneath get some more design there on this tricep you get the forearm guards here with some gold and then gun all gray around it and then the belt here, let's see. Yeah, you get some more paint job in the back there. Yeah, peg hole in there for the cape, but you can't take the cape off really anyway. So, yeah, you get a little bit of extra detail in the back. And then you get the brown pants here with some sculpted detailing in there, like a quilt kind of. And then you get the shin guards or boots, I mean, not shin guards. And then you get some silver lining around the brim of the boots. Sculpt looks good. And then you get like the squared toed boots. So this is a brand new sculpt for it. And then you get pinless joints for the knees and elbows. So let's go over the articulation for him. So I think he has a double ball joint, so he goes down that far. You can look up just that far because of the hair. You can look left and right. 
some head pivoting in there. Uh, shoulders are going to be tricky with this arm, but for this one, it'll be a little bit more straightforward. So you get up that far. This one's going to be hard because of that cape is in the way. You can move your arm up and down. Like I said, the cape is in the way, so it's kind of hard to do that. Bicep swivel in there. Double jointed elbows in there. Wrists, this one goes side to side here, vertical. 360 rotation there. As the other ones, this one also goes side to side. But these two go up and down like normal. And then he also has a ball joint at the hip here. So you can go forward that far. Backwards that far. He can go side to side. You can do, ooh, yeah. That's the thing that I don't like. Because I had something happen with my Storm Shadow figure. And I kind of broke the joint or kind of twisted it too much to the point it kind of worn down the joint so it's kind of loose for the hip so i don't want to do that to this figure um legs can kick out that far forward that far backwards a little bit thigh cut double jointed knees in there uh ankles can hinge down looks like just that far for right now i don't want to push it or break it so you can move up a little bit farther but this one's just being weird and then ankles can pivot and here is Odin next to the final battle scene, Thor, and Endgame. So I do have some problems with it. Uh, for one, I did have a problem trying to get him to stand up. The feet are a little weird. So you kind of have to kind of angle this foot to make him stand up. You can't really make him stand up straight. The cape is a little too heavy, so he'll fall backwards too. Um, and then the waist swivel is a little clicky. But the, the sculpt... And paint job is awesome. Came with the right amount of accessories. I don't have a problem with that. Um, it's not the best or worst figure I've seen. So I don't have a problem with it. But I do recommend you get him. Because this is the only Odin figure from the MCU out there. Um, I know there's an Odin Build-A-Figure. But that's a comic version. So if you want a movie version, I, I would recommend you get it. But like I said, there's a couple problems with it. Not a whole lot, but uh, yeah, that's all I got for Odin. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys check out my link tree in my bio to um, my Twitch, TikTok, uh, and a few other things, PayPal if you want to help donate and have me keep going on with this because I'm middle school, paying up for school stuff, so it's kind of hard to keep going on with this. I still have a few figures to go through. I also got the Sentinel coming in soon, so... Um, I did pre-order, let's see here, I just pre-ordered the Spider-Man Wave, I also pre-ordered the Fantastic Four Wave, I want to get the, um, X-Men Wave, but I can't, well, I mean, I'll probably pre-order it, but I still have a few things to pay up for, but, because Legion, he, he they can send them off to me right now, but I have like no money because I spent it on Galactus. So yeah, um, but really that's all I got. So thanks for watching.